Hi everyone, welcome back to Bougie Doll Life. If you're new here, my name is Katrina and welcome. So today I wanted to show you guys everything that I got on my trip to Hobby Lobby for upcoming dog crafts for this month or things you might want for your dollhouse that I purchased. So let's go ahead and get straight into the haul. So the first thing that I got was this two-piece ladder set. It has a little top right here, but I already took it off. But it's a two-piece ladder set and when you take it out, one of them says pumpkin patch which is super cute and then the other one says sunflower feel which is i think is super cute i like to see these in homes i think people put like blankets on them so it'll be so cute and miniature to have this inside the dollhouse and then you can go ahead and put like little tiny doll blankets in between or if you want to put this in the front yard of your dollhouse which is what i plan to do with one of them and then the other one i'm going to put inside of the room as a blanket holder and I think that is so cute. So I got these two to come in a pack and it was so good. And they had it for 40% off, but this was originally $6.99, but I got 40% off that price. So everything here, I got it for 40% off the price that I paid. So the next thing that I got was this pumpkin. I have so many pumpkins for fall, but the thing is, I feel like I never have enough pumpkins because last year I got like a few pumpkins here and there, but this year, now that I have more houses, I'm like, I wanna spread it out through all the houses. So I wanna make sure I have enough. So I got one more. This one, I think was a dollar, yeah. a dollar ninety nine, which it was like around 99 cents because it was on sale. So next thing that I got was just some craft supplies hot glue you're gonna always catch me with hot glue in the craft store i don't care if i have a hundred thousand hot glues at my house i always pick up hot glue because it goes through so fast and i always get the big pack from amazon but when i go to the craft store i do pick up these small one packs these packs are packs of 20 and they're the thick sticks like this and then it's originally 4.99 sometimes you get it half off so it's around two dollars so the next thing that i got from the craft store is felt i got so much felt so i got a lot of fall color felt this time because i want to make a lot of like fall crafts during the next few months leading up to thanksgiving so i got a lot of dark browns and i got some coffee color kind of like a light brown and then i got one of a gray color because i have a doll idea that has to go with this color right here so i got one of these and each one of these were 39 cents a piece and if you guys haven't watched me make a dress out of felt which i'll put what that video looks like in the corner of the screen you can watch that video you can make so many things with felt and you could do so many crafts with felt so i have a lot of ideas coming up and we are doing a dollhouse for fall so i I'm super excited for that and I cannot wait to start that with you guys. So the next thing that I got is this Fat Quarters, which are different fabrics. I use Fat Quarters to make doll outfits because it's inexpensive and you can make a whole outfit for a doll for a dollar fifty okay so this right here was a dollar forty nine and it's this pretty print right here i think it's so cute and i love that and it gives very much fall and like i think it'd be cute to make like a poncho for my doll or like a cute fall outfit for my doll and i really do like this i'm so happy because you know i'm getting better at sewing so i feel so happy every time i see new fabrics now because i sew my own dog clothes and along with this fabric i also got this flower one as well i think this is so cute i think it's a really really pretty fabric to make like a dress or a skirt or something cute you know i'm always coming up with different things or maybe some overalls that might be a good idea some overalls for my dolls because i do have the barbie sewing pattern book that comes with all different sizes i will link that book in the description box down below i highly recommend it because it has patterns for petite classic barbie and then it has it for the curvy barbie and tall so i highly recommend that book just because it has all different sizes and it's all inclusive so next the last fabric that i got from hobby lobby is this pattern right here i think it's so cool it looks like art to me so i i mean, can't wait to see what i come up with when it comes to this pattern for my doll and i love making outfits for my doll it's so so fun so i can't wait to show you guys what i come up with with these different fat quarters so these are the three fat quarters that i picked up in hobby lobby 
So the next thing that I got from Hobby Lobby is this little floral arrangement. It just screams fall to me and I think it's so cute. I love the color combination. It looks so beautiful. And just look at it. I, I paid, well, it was initially $2.99, but it was around $1.50 when you take 50% off. So I love it, plus tax, you know. But I thought it was so cute. And you see the little, like, leaves. I just thought this was beautiful. I love florals. And I feel like with me building these dollhouses and things like that, I can, or dioramas, I never have enough florals. And I always keep all my floral stuff together. So I'm going to add this to what I have, which is running low. So, yeah, definitely need this. And then I also got this little um, needle holder. It's like a lipstick that um, opens up. And then it has a cushion on the inside so you can stick your needles in there. I am known for losing my needles. Like, I am infamous for losing my needles. And it scares me. So, I bought this to keep track of my needles. So, hopefully, this will help me keep more track of my needles. And speaking of needles, I got this pack of needles because I needed more needles. Because the needles I had were getting a little dull. So, I got this pack of different size needles for sewing. And also, I wanted to tell you guys, for this right here, the lipstick needle holder i paid 1.99 and then this right here does it show how much it's a 30 count so it's a 30 count of assorted needles and it was a dollar 49 and usually it's around 40 percent off so i pay less than a dollar for it so next thing that i got from hobby lobby we're making a new dollhouse okay because okay so the dollhouse that we're doing is a dollhouse that I did, never did on camera. It was the very first dollhouse I bought. I bought it in a thrift store for $14, which is a really good deal. And I never really, well, I decorated it, but it was like when I first started doing photography and I just kind of put together a house, but I stripped the whole house and I want to make it into a cabin. So I got some things that are cabin related. So you guys know now that we're doing a cabin for the new dollhouse. So let's go ahead and look at some of those things. So for wall decor, I saw this like kayak type of boat and I thought this would be really cute for a cabin. It was really, really cute. And then it has a lot of details on the inside. I'm debating whether I should paint it or not. I kind of like it this way, like with nothing at all. But I do feel like I should add a little bit of like dark brown or like a little bit of shading with paint. So I think that would be really cute. And this was $3.49. And it was really, really cute, and I really love it. So I think it'll be cute on the wall. Like, you know how when you go to cabins, they have, like, the little bolts on the wall? I think this will be really cute in a dollhouse. So next, I saw this wooden deer, and I thought this would be cute wall decor, and it was 99 cents. And I love it. I think it was so adorable, and I kind of want to paint it. I always want to paint everything, so 9 times out of 10, I might paint it. But then it depends how I feel about the decor, then... I might not paint it, but I really do like this, and I think this is really cute for the new dollhouse. And then I got this because I, I don't know if you guys know, but I love elephants. So I saw this little elephant. It was wooden. I thought it was so cute. So I wanted to throw it in there with the new dollhouse, and it was $2.49, and it was so cute, and I really do love it. I was going to record being in the store, but it's like, I don't want to show you guys things in the store that I didn't buy. So I was like, let me just do a haul for you guys so you guys can see everything that I actually buy for the dollhouse. So let's go ahead and move on to the next item. So next item, I got another one of these pumpkin pillow type of things. And the last time in my Dollar Tree haul, which I'll put a picture of what that video looks like right here. And I will link it down below that video. In that video, I got a pink one like this. So now I have like a cream color one, which is really cute, which I'll probably add to my newest dollhouse that I made from cardboard. So I thought this was so cute. It's like sweater material and it's soft. So I, of course I will take off the stick, like just cut it off and just use it as a pillow for fall. And I think this is so adorable. And then this one costed $1.99. And so then the next thing that I got, I got these little wood beads i use these beads for the bottom of sofas or the bottom of beds when i make furniture if i do add legs to furniture i like to use these beads i got these beads for $2.99 and they were so cute and it's a 15 piece and i love the decorations around the bead 
and i think it's really cute and i think it'll go along with our like wood cabin theme so i'm really happy that i got this so the next item that i got is glue because i love tack glue i like to use tack glue when it comes to adding um contact paper to my doll houses or like the floors to my doll houses i prefer to use this glue over hot glue so it won't be lumpy so i like to use this and plus it dries really fast i haven't tried this in any other way in a doll house but to put down the floors like how these are i haven't tried it any other way but this is what i use and this costs $2.99. Well, speaking of scrapbook paper, I got these scrapbook papers to go for the new dollhouse. I think this is so pretty and I love that. It's so cute. It has like little trees and things like that. These papers are 59 cents at Hobby Lobby. So I always stock up on these things. And it's so cute for like pictures or like even to use as like um, wall decor or anything to make miniatures for dolls. And so I got this wood one. And I got a couple of these. And I thought this was so cute and pretty and different. And I just love it. Like, look at that. Look at this. Like, the whole decoration is just cute. So I got a couple of those. I got even more here. And I always stock up on them because the good ones always go really fast. And especially, like, the hardwood floor. Because I feel like a lot of mentorists or a lot of, like, people that have buildings with dollhouses, they like to use this to do the floors. Like, this is what I use to make the floors here. So, I love to stock up on these. Especially if they have a good new pattern that I really like or a good design that I like. And then, also, I got some popsicle sticks that were so cute. And I got a, this is a 75 pack of jumbo popsicle sticks i use these for a lot of different crafts especially now that we're doing a cabin i feel like it was only right to get popsicle sticks you can make multiple things with popsicle sticks and it will come out amazing so i paid 99 cents for this i might go back and get another one but for now i feel like 75 is enough because i'm just gonna make little small crafts with this so next is kind of advanced but when i saw this i was like when it comes time for this it's going to be sold out and that is ugly christmas sweaters okay i saw these sweaters and i was like um i need to get these because they were on sale they were 40 percent off and in hobby lobby if you've been there around christmas time you notice that, that the ornament section is a mess it wasn't a mess today because no one's looking at this time at the Christmas section. And they just put out the ornaments and it was awesome. So I got this Santa one that was really cute. And it's so nice. And the neck is pretty big so you can just pretty much pull it over your doll. Or if you want to be crafty, you can cut it down the back and just add some Velcro and sew it on. I think this is really cute for the dolls. I started doing this last year for my dolls. It was the cutest thing ever. And I really love it. It has a little Santa on the front made with felt and things like that. And it has like pom-poms. Absolutely love this. And then the second one that I got, I love it. I can't wait to put this on mini Trina. Look at it. Look at this. It's pink and it's so cute. And it has a little wreath in the middle. It has the little tiny flowers on the bottom. And I think that is just so adorable. This is just the cutest little thing. And I know that Christmas is months away, but sometimes you, when you see something and it's really nice, you have to get it ahead of time. Because sometimes I will go and like around Christmas time and I'm like, why is there nothing? Because everyone gets everything before. So these sweaters were on sale actually. They were 50% off. So they were $7, but then I got them for like $3.50 a piece. So definitely check out your Hobby Lobby. Because they had a whole bunch of these. They were like six or seven different ones and super cute and a very good price in my opinion of course so the next item that i got from hobby lobby so the last item that i got is not doll related but you know we're friends so you know if if you like home stuff and home decor you would like this as well they had these beautiful candles that were so nice and i love how these were made it has like a little twine around it and this one is called harvest pumpkin and this was on sale it was like around nine dollars and it smells so good like i was just like oh it just smells like us if you like the pumpkin spice latte it's not even too much pumpkin it's like a nice cinnamon type of smell and i love those smells around the fall time so yeah so even though it's not dollar related we're friends so if you like this 
you know check out hobby lobby because they are full of flaw candles right now they even have the three wick if you guys are into that so i do like that so that is it for my hobby lobby haul and this behind me right here is foam board that i got from dollar tree i think i got like five foam boards behind me so yeah your girl's gonna be crafting for the next month or so so i'm so excited to start this new dollhouse with you guys so let me know in the comments down below what projects you guys are working on i do want to open a p.o box starting this coming month i'll probably open it like towards the end of this month so you guys can send me pictures of things that you make because you guys are always in the comments telling me all your craft that you make and things like that and you know if you guys want to send me letters with pictures of your crafts and things like that then i want to be able to you know show that on the channel or you know have a wall with all of you guys stuff because i really do love you guys and i think you guys are so awesome and creative and i love all of you guys talk about your crafts and things like that so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe follow me on instagram if you don't already do at bougie doll life and i'll see you guys in the next video bye